Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Nut, and welcome to Shelter, a game that has picked some really, really interesting colours for its logo. I mean, I guess intentionally, I suppose it's supposed to look like that, because, like, the S merges into the waterfall and the H into the, into the cliff, like, everything's supposed to merge into the background, so, like, maybe it's supposed to be about, like, camouflage, it's giving me a hint, I'm supposed to camouflage. Shelter is a game about being a badger, specifically a mother badger, I don't know if that's got a specific name or something, it's just going to be a mother badger, who's got some badger cubs, I don't know if that's the correct name for a young badger either, badgerlets, badgerlings, Badgerlers? I don't know. I will probably change my mind as I go through this. And you have to keep your badgerlings alive. Now, let me tell you something about my morality that probably means I'm severely wrong in the head or something. Which is, I can watch a film and, you know, all the lead characters can die and a thousand people can die and there can be a terrible war in which everybody dies or whatever. I'm just like, eh, sure. That, that's an interesting setup for a story. The moment, the moment there's like, say, a dog that's been lightly wounded and is on the ground in pain, even if it doesn't necessarily die, I'm, I'm a wreck. I can't deal with that. So I'm getting the feeling this might be emotional going for me, but I've heard good things about Shelter, so let's save my damn badgerlings. And here we are. I am the mother badger. I have got my children with me and- Oh no! 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 <laughs> okay. I think the tone of the game has just been set. It's five seconds in and one of my children is dead. Oh, I'm so sorry, John Jr. I tried. I tried my best and it wasn't good enough. Okay, so... This is going to be one of those games where everybody dies, isn't it? Alright, can we just get through here? No, no we can't. Fine, can't get through there yet. Fine, probably have to go the other way. No, the game's not keen on me going this way either. Clearly I've got to learn something in the- ooh. Hello, can I pick you? I can't- oh my goodness. John Jr. It's not too late! I can bring you back, come on. Come on, give me this one. Just today, game. Everybody lives, all right? Please. Please, please, please. And... Oh. 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 Maybe. Come on. Eat. Eat the food, frozen corpse. Oh, my God, he did. John Jr. <laughs> okay. We've got our five cubs, all right? Okay, so we've got, going clockwise there, Flopsy, Mopsy, John Jr., Steve, and Superman Von Humperdinck III, alright? Everyone remember which one is which. Alright, guys, the camera's pretty close in on me during this tunnel, so you better all be there, because if you wander off, you're getting left behind, alright? Mopsy, I'm talking to you in particular. Oh, here we are, we've made it out of the warren, or whatever it is a badger lives in, a burrow. Hang on, hang on, just, just check one second, please. Flopsy, Mopsy, John Jr., Steve, Superman, Von Humperdinck, the third. Alright, fine, everyone's here. Let's be on our way. And now we're out here, we can actually flipping run. Lovely. And here's something in the ground. Alright, so that's what food looks like. So, who is hungry? Mopsy, you don't get me. This is entirely for Flopsy, alright? Here you are, Flopsy. Good badgerling. There we go. You're my favourite. Right, so, here we are. Oh, it's rather stylized. I quite like it. I like a game that looks distinctive, and this looks not quite like anything else I've ever seen before, to be honest. I really hope I don't need to remember which one I've actually fed and which one I haven't. Okay, so, Mopsy was... Wait, which one was Mopsy? And then we've got a tree. Ah, charge into a tree, and it'll drop the fruit. Got it. So, that can go to... Actually, you know what? I've decided that's mine. Screw the lot of you. Oh, interestingly, I can't eat. I just basically kind of pick my favourite child, and it is Superman Von Humperdinck III. There you go, well done. And more trees up ahead, more apples. You know what, this one is going to be survival of the fittest. Whoever gets to the apple... Where are my children? Oh god, I've left them all behind, I'm the worst mother. Oh, they were just in the long grass. Oh, thank god. Alright, you... Oh, for God's sake, it's Mopsy. She made it to the apple first, she didn't eat it. You know what, you don't deserve to survive the winter. Or spring. I'm guessing we're in... Well, there was... I think there was snow back over there. And one of you was freezing to death. But it does distinctly feel like autumn, I guess. There's a little bit of orange, at least. I guess we're approaching winter right now. I'm not sure why we're moving. I feel like the burrow is a great place to be in winter. Badgers... Do badgers hibernate? I don't know much about badgers. Possibly I should have read up about badgers before we did this. Ooh. Ooh, I can hide in the grass myself. Everyone hide in the grass, all right? Go into sneaky mode. 
Sneaky mode, emerge from the grass, the fearsome, fearsome badger. Well, the fearsome, fearsome honey badger, that's a thing on the internet. I'm not sure whether normal badgers are that fearsome, to be honest. Right, let's be on our way, screw it. Ooh, can we eat the flower? Eat the flower, eat the... No, flowers are not edible, that's a shame. Oh, multiple apples, all right, help yourself, kiddies. There we go, the race is on, and lovely, well done. I assume, like, if I just leave food out, they'll figure out who needs to eat it, right? Really hope so, because I'm sure as hell not keeping track of whether any of my children are starving to death. Ah, okay, apparently we need to do some hunting, potentially of a frog. Hang on, where's that? Ah, okay, go, 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 get the frog, get the frog. Did we get the frog? I think we got the frog. All right, who wants to eat the frog? It's arguably not as appetizing as an apple, but maybe if you're a badger it is. You wanted to eat the frog, well done. Right, so look out for little things to catch, like frogs. Admittedly, very stylized frogs. Arguably going to be hard to spot. I like the little squeaky noises. I feel attached to them already. It's going to be so sad when you all inevitably die in winter. I wonder if there's any actual, you know, scientific basis in the idea that badgers ram trees in order to knock down food for their children. Because I feel like that's not a thing badgers could do. So right now in this part of the game, it's mainly just a case of digging up food, dropping it down, one of the little badgerlings eats it, probably who's ever happens to be hungry. Maybe they're all hungry. Maybe they just have a shared joint hunger meter. I'm just kind of gathering enough food for everybody. So just need to keep on the move, keep on the lookout for trees and stuff to dig up, and little frogs or whatever if there are any, though those guys are a little bit harder to spot. Hello there, Mr. Tree. And down comes another apple. Oh, the game's warning me. Okay, okay, guys, guys, stay back. Stay back, stay in here. Because I've got a plan right now, which is... Oh, oh, I wish I knew where I was. I'm somewhere in here. I just don't know exactly where. I think I saw myself there. Right, get over here. And yeah, there we are. Oh, wait. Wait for him to loop round to us. He might not loop round to us. Guys, d guys, Flopsy! All right, here he comes. 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 And... Go, 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 go! Nice! Well done. We shall all eat tonight, except for Flopsy, who has been demoted to the least loved child for nearly giving away our bloody position. I wish I knew where we were going, by the way. Like, I assume if it is autumn, we should have just been kind of cuddling down in our warren. Maybe we didn't have enough food or whatever. Maybe badgers don't hibernate. Maybe they just kind of keep scavenging during the winter. I'm genuinely not sure, but oh... Tree? Can we do anything with tree? No, we can't do anything with tree. We just keep on going on our merry way. We started down there and we seem to be working our way kind of up a mountain. Do badgers live on the top of mountains? I don't know, but they certainly eat a lot of turnips. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm seeing a fox. Guys, guys, get in down here, all right? Go into sneak mode. We need to get after that fox and get him. Possibly because otherwise he'll get us. Possibly because he could feed all of you. Get over here. Is this, is this actually... No, we can't hide in that. We can't hide in that. Guys, guys, all right. All right, guys, 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 guys. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Everyone in here, all right? Hi, where'd the fox go? Guys, we've lost track of the fox. Possibly it's using the stealth grass as well. All right, hide here. Hide here. Hide here. All right, guys. Prepare... Four. Can we drop down ledges? We can't drop down ledges! Right, guys, go for it. We're going for an attack on the fox. I'm just going all in. Best defense is a good offense, or offense is the best defense. I forget how that idiom goes. Hello, Mr. Foxy. We're going to... Oh, no. Oh, it can outrun us. Oh, it can outrun us. Right. It may or may not represent a threat to the cubs. Who knows? Where are the cubs, by the way? I kind of left them behind. Right, I need to sneak up behind it and then, like, leap out at it. Out of nowhere, all right? Where's, where is it? If I could just sneak up behind it. Yeah, that's right. I'm coming and I'm bringing my entire bloody family. We're going to eat you, Mr. Fox. Assuming you don't eat us first, you better not eat us first. Guys, you should probably just hang back, by the way. I am actually fox hunting. Okay. He definitely saw that coming. Oh, yeah, he doesn't see me at all in the grass. Aha! And, oh, blimey! I apparently have a massive kill leap on me, guys. Dig in. All right, so even if you're going quickly, you don't have to sneak through the grass. You can just run up to the grass. And now everyone gets a meal, apart from Flopsy. Flopsy knows what he did. Also, I feel like you literally just consumed a fox down to the last morsel. And I've been feeding you apples and turnips this whole time. How often do you bastards need to eat? 
gonna have to start putting you on a diet and a gym routine. You're getting flipping tubby. I like the very gentle soundtrack, by the way. It reminds me quite a bit of Firewatch. In fact, actually, this reminds me of Firewatch in a few different ways. Just Firewatch, if instead of being a Fire Watchman, you were a badger. And thus, arguably, the fire represented even higher stakes. Oh, God, none of you catch... Wait, where's the fifth one? Oh, shit, where's Flopsy? Flopsy, I didn't mean it. Come back. I've actually lost one of my children. Where the hell is one of the children? All right, everyone think back. When was the last time we saw all five, like, badgerlets? I'm pretty sure... Oh, there you are! You utter bastard! You had me so worried! You are the worst child. Which one are you? Oh, Steve. I should have cocky known it would be you. Lesson learnt. Actually watch the little bastards, because sometimes one of them will fall behind. And I'm guessing if they fall too far behind, that's actually really, really bad. Oh, hello. We've got... Oh, oh, what the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, massive bird that eats things. We've got problems now. Oh, flip. Oh, flipping heck. Guys, there's a bird. I don't trust the bird. Right, go, go, go. Get into the grass. Get into the grass. Everyone into the grass as quickly as... No, no, guys, 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 guys. Oof. The bird knew. The bird flipping knew. All right, okay. Where are we even going, by the way? Uh, I feel like we must be going in the direction of the big tree. The big tree feels like a good direction. Right. I don't want to go through the logs. I don't trust all my badgerlings to actually follow me through the log. So probably the safest thing to do is wait for him to do a pass. All right. And then as soon as he's done the pass, just sprint over to that one over there. All right. Wait for the pass. Wait for the pass. Wait for the pass. Wait for him to be a good distance away. And go, 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 go. Guys, guys, guys. Into here, into here, into here, into here, into here. All right, well done. Good work, guys. All right, everyone, heads down. Heads down, check where the bird is. Bloody bird's coming in this sort of direction. No, bird's pretty far away right now. And go, 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 go. Sprint, sprint, you bastard, sprint. And everyone down. Nicely done. I don't actually know where we're going. That's part of the problem here. I feel like that's not the right direction over there. I feel like we must be going in more like this direction to the other side of the tree. That feels a little exposed. Possibly going round the outside is safer. I feel like this whole area looks safer to me than just everyone stay down here. Alright, there's a nice thick scrub around here. Right, everyone quickly round here into this bit. Alright, yeah. Okay, there's a short hop across open ground here. Alright, everybody just hang on. Wait for the birds to naff off over there and go, 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 go. Oh, it knows, it knows, it knows. Careful, everyone. Flipping careful. Right, underneath the rock. That's all for... Okay, camera. I need you to cooperate with me right now. Okay, badgerlings. We've got a problem. Which is, there doesn't seem to be an obvious route along here. Other than going through the trunk. I'm going to trust in the trunk. Alright, everyone into the trunk. Right now. Everyone into the trunk. Right this second. Is everyone safely in the trunk? Everyone get into the trunk faster! Oh... Foo, foo, foo. Superman Von Humperdinck, you are bloody lucky. That bloody bird just... Oh, now we've got trouble. Now we've got trouble because we can't bloody see. All right, now, everyone, wait for bird two. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Everyone, back in the trunk. Back in the trunk. We made a mistake. All right, wait for the bird to be over there. Then we can get back to the grass on this side. All right, no, no. Yes, yes, okay. And everyone, go, 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 go. Lovely, well done. I don't trust that route over there. I'm not sure I can actually get past those rocks. So probably the easiest thing to do, therefore, is instead to go around this way and cut through. Though it's a bit of a longer cut over... Ooh. If I cut over there, there's no grass at all protecting us. Um, Right, let's just see if there's an obvious way this way, all right? Just go over here. Wait for the bird to do its pass. Bastard bird. And now we've got ourselves one collapsed tree here. And can we actually go... Ah, oh, we can go under the collapsed tree. Well, that's fine then. That's 100% fine. This was a fine way to go. Now, I'm slightly worried by the bird's path right now. Which is, it's kind of circling really over the top of us. We don't have an obvious time to make for it. Like, if we want to sprint across here, we literally have to sprint like... Well, okay, if we wait for it to be right at the edge, then we're going round this way. All right, wait for it to go over there. And go, go, go. We're going over here. We're going over here. Guys, guys, please tell me you're hurrying. Please hurry, 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 hurry. Oh. Whoa, okay. 
You little bastard, you're spooking me here. Right, this has got to be the right one. Yeah, actually, the bird's doing a long loop in that direction right now. Should be pretty safe to make this run if we head out when it's way over there. Do you not have anything to eat other than flipping badges, by the way? Right, run and into cover and everyone should be fine. All right, I think one last one and we're through this horrendous area of death and terror. I mean, there was a fox, like, you know, 20 meters in that direction. We killed and ate it. Could you not just have gone and got the fox? All right. And wait for it to go past and around. And as soon as it does. Go, go, go. Final one, final one, final one, final one, final one. And everyone safe. All right. Yeah. Everything good. Where's the bird? I think it's gone. Oh, good. All right, everyone. All right, check in. Check in, all right, and five children all accounted for. Best badger ever. Uh-oh, uh-oh, guys, 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 I may not have been the best. And that's how everybody died. No, no, everyone's fine, right? Everyone's fine? Everyone is, yep, okay, good. I thought it was only four there for a second. Right, so aside from the moment I took us into the log where everyone died, and conveniently it was one of those glowing logs, which is bloody useful, everyone is fine and we all agree I am the best mother ever. Oh, it's me that glows, right. I'm one of those glowing badgers. Now this is gonna be a bit more tricky because now it's gonna be way harder to, what was that noise? What was that, what was that, what was that noise? And where's my fifth child? I'm distinctly worried that I appear to be down to four children. I heard a screech and a squeak and a where the hell are my children? Okay, I think we are down one badgerling. Now, unfortunately, despite the fact I have named you all, I can't actually remember which one was which. So we're just going to say it was Flopsy because at the time that this one child went missing and was probably eaten, Flopsy was the least popular of all of our children. So Flopsy is dead. It's down to Mopsy, John Jr., Stephen, Superman, Von Humperdinck the third. All right, Mopsy, I would not suggest- Oh, oh, hello, hello, no, 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 go, 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 get the, get the frog, get the frog, get the frog, we need to eat, damn it. The frog got away, which is unfortunate. Also, everyone stay close. Have we not learnt the lesson of Flopsy? Oh, I found a little thing. All right, guys, we're down to slim pickings at the moment because I just failed to catch a frog. So as a result, pay really close attention to anything we can dig up because I suspect you guys are going to start getting hungry at some point. All right, don't miss the food. So I suspect what happens is if you miss food, eventually these guys start dying. No, don't just eat it for yourself. Though, Mitchell, I probably should eat for myself. Like, you know, no offense to my children or anything, but like, if they die, I can just make more children with a man badger. But if I die, I can't do that anymore. So technically, we ought to sacrifice these guys to make sure I survive. And by guys, guys, just eat the food. Does anybody want to? Nobody wants to eat the food, do they? All right. Never mind, I guess I'll just carry this around for me then. Screw the lot of you. Oh, got a frog. Good news, guys. You get a frog to eat. Well done. Someone gets a frog anyway. There you go. And admittedly, while I am keeping my children alive, well, you yeah, know, 80% of them for the moment at least, I feel like I'm not doing a good job as a mother right now. Like, I shouldn't just be, like, you know, picking up, like, plants and feeding them to the children. I should be showing them how to do it. Like, by now, they should be learning how to do it for themselves. Like... Really, I'm just holding their hand, but I'm not going to be there forever. I need these kids to learn to be self-sufficient, damn it. I need to implement some tough badger love. Oh, oh, what, 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 wait, what just happened? What just happened? What? Who just? I think I might have been not feeding one of my children enough. I suspect, hang on, hang on. It, this might be like what happened with John Jr. All right. Can we just, can we just, okay. Okay, that's fine. That means, oh no. Does that mean potentially... Flopsy is just lying unconscious over there someone if I just brought Flopsy some food then Flopsy would currently be fine The thing is I'd go back for Flopsy, but my runs currently disabled so it would take like five minutes So we're not we never liked Flopsy that much anyway, right? I've just learned the importance of flipping digging up food because otherwise apparently you all start dying. Oh Hello Hang on, what just happened? A thing just happened. Why was there just a screeching and some stuffing? There was just, hang on, we've lost, we've lost somebody. What, where have we just lost another one? I don't know, we've just lost another one. For the love of God, guys, stop wandering off on your own. 
Stay inside the vision range where I can see you. Alright, I need to find this. Okay, if I can find the one that just went missing, I might be able to feed them back to hell. But only if I can flipping find the body, which I can't in the dark, unfortunately. Guys, how are we doing up here? Anything? Anything? And incidentally, I've got a slight problem here, which is um, I can't drop this thing I've picked up. Which is a problem, because if I can't drop this thing, I can't feed the rest of the badgers. Alright, children, we really need to hurry, because your mother's just developed either lockjaw or an unfortunate glitch, which is this thing I've just dug up, I can't actually drop it. So right now, I'm incapable of actually feeding any of you, which is unfortunate, because there's bloody food everywhere, but I'm just stuck carrying this turnip around instead, because possibly I love this turnip more than I love you, I don't know. On the plus side, you three badgerlings seem to have learnt the lesson of your dead two siblings, which is if you stay close to me, you're probably fine. But if you wander off and incident- That's not how the sky works! The theme of this mission seems to be basically we need to go downstream. We're just continually following the water downstream, which suggests that this badger mother has wanted to take her badgerlings to the sea. Possibly the sea is where badgers go to reproduce? I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of being forced to implement the tough love principle at the minute, which is, guys, there's food in my mouth if you want to fight me for it, or there's food in the ground if you guys want to dig it up, right? Either of those things is fine, but just for the moment, my pick up and drop and my general action button seems to not be doing anything. Guys, it's up to you to kill the frog, because I can't. Normally, I would just do my death leap at this point, but it's not working. Unfortunately, guys, this is survival of the fittest right here. If you guys cannot survive on your own, you don't deserve to survive at all, which is unfortunately the direction I think we're going right now. Did we ever check who actually died second, by the way? I'm just going to say it was Steve. Nobody liked Steve in the first place. So we're down to Mopsy, John Jr., and Superman Von Humperdinck III. I think we've managed to make it to the end of that level, which is marvellously good news. Okay, and now we're into... Oh, bloody hell. Now we are into the Firewatch bit. Oh, I've got my action button back. Good news, guys. We get to eat again. And I've got my sprint as well. Right, guys. Guys, who's hungry? Is it Mopsy? Who wants the food? There you go. Well done, guys. You actually get to eat again now. And oh, dear. Oh, no. The storm surging and whatever. Guys, stay away from the storm surge. Also, eat this fruit. There you go. You can have the nice raspberry up there. Right, I probably need to hunt or something because these guys are probably hungry because I've just been completely ignoring all of the bloody food going in the previous level. Plus, it's not dark anymore, so now, if there's predators, I should actually see the bastards. I would also just like to say I am still doing a good job mothering, alright? Over half of my children are still alive. And there's one of the nice apple trees. Lovely. Alright. Plenty of food floating around here for... What's that? What's this? I don't trust this little burrow. Alright, stay away from... Oh, 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 guys, 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 guys. There we go. Got a mouse for you as well. You're very welcome. Alright, can't go any further up that way. Why do we have the feeling I'm going to need to go into the river at this point? I see. I need to cross here... And the stones, potentially, are going to... Well, actually, how far apart are the storm surges? Guys, okay, what you do is you pick it out the ground and then you eat it, all right? Have a carrot, lovely. So there you are, there's a carrot. Do I have time to make it all the way across in a single thing? I doubt it. I feel like we just basically need to make a sprint for it. And if it looks like we can't make it then we just go onto that island over there instead. So, all right, guys, I hope you... Don't go into... No, 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 Steve! No! Oh. Okay, you know what? Survival of the fittest. Guys, get out of the water. Get out of the bloody water. Oh, and obviously the storm surge has stopped right now. Obviously, the last storm surge in the world just flipping claimed John Jr. Hang on a minute, which of you are actually bloody left? Hang on, I'm actually just going to go and check the original footage to see if I can figure out from the patterns which ones you actually bloody are. Fine, so you guys at home know that even if I don't know right now. So at the bare minimum, what I do understand is basically, before I started crossing, one of the badgerlings just basically walked into the water and was immediately swept away. That sounds like the sort of thing I would do, so I'm just going to say that there was John Jr. So we've got left Mopsy and Superman Von Humperdinck III. On the plus side, feeding you guys is going to be incredibly easy right now. There's only two of you, so like, you know, you're welcome to all the carrots in the world. 
I'm not liking the amount of cover and the occasional slightly threatening guitar riff that's showing up in the soundtrack, alright? I'm not liking the sound of this at all. Incidentally, you guys just keep eating up, why don't you? Actually, I think at this point... Oh, no, you are still just a tiny bit hungry. You guys must be getting very full right now, because I assume the amount of food is, like, finite. But I've already got rid of 60% of my children, so the remaining 40% shall be very, very fat children indeed. Now, I'm guessing this is where we're heading. Just do we need to be careful of storm surges? At all. Also, guys, you're not falling in, right? You guys know how to pathfind. Yeah? Good badgerlings. See this? This is why you two are the survivors. You are not just like, you know, this is not sad. What we have done is we have just culled the chaff. Alright? The weak are gone, but the strong shall thrive. And, oh no. Oh, I don't like the look of this at all. We need to cross here. Don't, do not run ahead of me into the... Hang on, where's... Oh, sorry, he's just pointing out this tree. All right, fine. If you want an apple that much, you're welcome to an apple. Fine, whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't really like the look of this here crossing point, but I think we're stuck. I mean, like... Where's the storm surge? It's gonna happen. It's gonna flip and happen, all right? Just wait. Wait for... All right, guys, go, 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 go faster, go faster, sprint, 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 all right, and everyone across safely, all right, well done, well flipping done, and then, ah, this looks less good, right, okay, so, I'm guessing if we want to survive, we need to, how are we supposed to survive that? The game was implying that if you hit behind rocks, you'd be all right, but I feel like... That's not gonna fly at all. That point up there behind the big rocks got to be like the point. If there is a safe spot, that's the safe spot. If I just think about it, like, yeah, from the time of one of those storm surges, like, my badgerlings, like, they fall behind me a little bit anyway. And if I just kind of kept running right now, then, like, I don't know what's around the corner. That's the thing. All right, Mopsy. If I could, I'd just actually leave one of my badgerlings here while I went to try this out. Unfortunately, there's no command I can give these guys to actually just tell them to wait here while I go check it out a bit. Also, incidentally, who wants to have what's probably the last turn? Actually, go, 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 guys. We're hiding over here. All right, this is where we're hiding. Everyone into the safe bit with me. Safe bit with me. This isn't going to be safe in the slightest, is it? No, no. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, it was. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. All right, now, guys. Over here to the next safe bit. All right, everyone over here. Squeeze yourself right up over here, all right? Right up over here. This is hopefully safe again. And yes, yes, it was. All right, go, 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 go. Uh, guys, next safe bit. Right in the corner with me. Right in the flipping corner. Oh, this is a little bit too exposed. Mopsy, no. Mopsy. Right, good. Hold on. Everyone around the corner. I'm feeling genuinely nervous for the future of these flipping badges right now. Everyone, up here. This corner with me right now. All right, everyone in there. And that is just about okay. Actually, I think it's marked with the red. It's the red. I completely missed the color differentiation, but we're skipping one here, which is probably risky. So everyone into the red. Okay. Yeah, while they're in the red, it's fine. It's only the orange you need to be worried about. I completely missed the uh, the color thing earlier. Uh, right, round here to this here next one. And into the shallow safer bit. Lovely. If we'd known that earlier, this would have caused less trouble. And also, the death of John Jr. would not have had to have happened. Right, round here. Uh, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Uh, where do we go from here? Can we, can we get up and around from here? No, we can't get up and around from here. Right, everyone back onto the red bit. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, no, it's right there. Sorry. I completely missed that we could just go over to the left. That's fine. And stay there. Shake off the water. And out we come. Beautiful. Well, all right, you see. You see, we're learning. John Jr. had to die that you might live. Because now we understand how rivers work, damn it. And I'm pretty sure I just leapt on a frog over there. Yep, I'm pretty sure, guys, we got a frog for you. A little bit of fresh meat for you before we go in. Now, don't be an idiot like John Jr. was, all right? We don't go in before I'm ready to go in. All right, wait for the storm surge and head in over here and simply wait in the safe area. All right, lovely. Wait for the next bunch of waves. I know you're going to get a little bit damp, but it's fine. And then once that's done... Over we go. Beautiful. And out we come. Done with the river bit. Nice. Oh, into the land of death. 
I hate the land of death. I'm worried by what the land of death might mean, but we do appear to have just suddenly come into the land of winter and death. Marvellous. Though this does make finding the carrots a little bit easier. Alright, got ourselves a rodent there. Alright, guys, just keep on eating. I'm pretty sure you're the same guy who just ate the carrot, alright? Leave some for Superman Von Humperdinck the third. Damn it, Mopsy. Oh, bloody hell, it has actually turned into Firewatch. This has genuinely turned into Firewatch. The forest is now on fire. And apparently I'm running my children into it because I'm just a really shit badger mother. Guys, eat your turnips. You're going to need your strength to avoid being on fire. All right, guys, follow the path. There'll probably be something to do with the fire here. Maybe just stay away. Stay away from the fire. In general, guys, just stay away from the... Oh, okay, guys, 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 do not touch the fire. Stay as far away from the fire as you can, all right? Probably we should just hurry up through here, all right? Also, here's a carrot. I really hope these guys do not just blunder into the fire due to bad pathfinding. Instantly stay out of the long grass unless... Oh, that long grass is totally going to be on fire behind me. You know what? Just sprint through it. Sprint through it as fast as we can. At this point, we want to be staying out. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so now we've got the twin problem of bloody eagle and everything's going to catch fire. And also, we have to go way, way further to actually get between the two things, don't we? Yes, yes we do. Um, Right, guys, go for the... Oh, we... oh no! No, 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 that's not fair, that's not fair, that's not fair! Oh, are we all right? I don't know whether we're both all right. We might be. Okay, so... Basically, flaming branches are going to be dicks to us. Got it. Right, wait for him to go way over there. And now everything's... Okay, we need to speed this up, guys. Because there's literally everything's on fire. Okay, both of you are still alive for now. Uh, we really need to speed this up instantly. Because they're everything catching fire behind me. I'm not sure if we're on a time limit or not. Wait for him to get way over there. And go, 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 go. This was a dead end. There's nothing here. Guys. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Is this, is this the last stand? Is this the last stand that we make? Because this is the impassable stuff. Right here. You can't get past this stuff. Um, Definitely can't go back that way. Moderately confident, at least. We can't even really see the shadow, so we're just going to have to make it over here. All right, guys. All right, good. Wait for him to go over there. We need to just go over here, because this is the only way I can think there might be an exit. Oh, there's a tunnel over there. Yes, go for the tunnel. Go for the tunnel. Go for the tunnel. Wait for him to go for that. And go, 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 guys. Are we in safety? Yes, we're in safety. All right. We've got to make it to shelter as the... No, stay in the thing. No, Superman, no. All right. Wait, 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 wait. And go, go, go. Make it for the tunnel. Make it for the tunnel. Make it for the tunnel. Ignore the carrot. Do not eat the carrot. Do not eat the carrot. Do not eat the carrot. I'm safe. Are my children safe? My children are safe. I am the best at badgering. Possibly the bloody bird's still here. Right, the middle bit just caught fire. That's unfortunate. Um, we're probably safe too in a second. I know this is a really quite long way to go. We just have to run for it. Go, 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 go. All right. You probably should all be pretty well fed though, right? We don't need to... Oh, bloody hell. Right. Uh, yeah, you're probably all reasonably well fed because I've been giving you all loads of frogs and rats and whatever. So, wait for bird. We have a long way to go over this way, but that's probably about as far away as the bird's going to get. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Ooh, close. Close, close, close. Right. Round the back of here. Quick as you like. Stay in here. Yeah, screw you, bird. We're in cover. There's nothing you can do to me. Uh, incidentally, that'll be the next path. Uh, you guys, stay, stay in cover. Stay in cover. And... The bird doesn't do a long loop here. Right, we just have to wait for him to be kind of behind the rock. That's probably about as far away as he gets. And go, 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 guys. I know this is risky. I know this is risky. I know this is risky. Tight. Very tight. And then probably I think we're all right to go through here. Hopefully. Is there any sign of the bird, by the way? No, we're all right for now. Right, guys. Just keep on keeping on. Just in case the bastard bird shows up again. All right, for now, good. Guys, I'm really sorry about this, Mopsy. Superman Von Humperdinck, I love you. All right, go, 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 go. By the way, I've got time to get you guys a turnip on this occasion. Into the tunnel we go. Lovely. One of you, have a turnip. There you go. Keep you guys fed. Don't want you to die of starvation, having kind of sacrificed all of this to get past the bloody bird. 
And that looks like water. Water is good. Water is resistant to fire. Right, I'm guessing we're going across the water, right? Yeah, I don't see any markers of safe versus not safe. Incidentally, guys, just keep eating up. You're going to need your strength to survive here. All right, now, are we safe to... No. This water's not marked as passable. So in which case... Oh, no, sorry, we're going over this way. My mistake. I think we are anyway. Yes, yeah, sorry, we're just heading into the bit that's blatantly on fire. Right, good, good. Okay, guys, stay off anything that looks like it might catch fire, which I know is broadly anything, but just kind of basically stay out of grass long or short, all right? Uh, stay on... Yeah, this stuff looks pretty safe. Just stay on this stuff while we just sprint through the bloody fire. And then, guys... Oh, no. Right, guys, guys, go quickly. Go quickly through here, because I don't think there's the only other way past other than this. So just as quick as you can through here. Lovely. Right, that, that should be safe for now. I think at this point we're kind of on a time limit. So we've just got to get through here before the fire closes off our path. And hopefully it's looking... Yeah, it's looking less on fire up ahead. Hopefully we're done with the Valley of Fire and Death. And Mopsy and Superman Von Humperdinck both still accounted for... Well, who knows? Maybe we have found shelter. Maybe this is shelter. This strikes me as good shelter. Let's just bloody live here. I honestly don't know what this badger mother wants for her children. Are we just going to keep going until we... Don't you even bloody think about it, you bastards. Are we just going to keep going until we reach, like, a nice London suburb and we find, you know, a three-bed detached house that we can afford on a single mother badger's wages or something? You know what? We should have been happy with the bloody small cave we started off with, all right? Do you know what we had in there, mother? We had flipping five alive children. And here we come into what looks like a much friendlier, happier place to me. I suspect we may have gone through the worst of it. And possibly now if I can just keep these two fed, which should not be a problem. Hopefully we now get to find our new home in the happy place. In fact, possibly this is all supposed to represent spring has come. We've made it through winter. Winter being well known for everything being on fire or something, I guess. I don't know. I think this is supposed to indicate for all the pink... We have made it to spring. Everything is good. Mopsy and Superman Von Humperdinck made it. We shall never forget John Jr. or Flopsy or the... Oi! Excuse me. Excuse me. Me, me, me. No, 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 no. Screw you. Screw you. I need to feed you to my children. You know what? I don't need to bother hunting that fox. To be honest, I think we're broadly okay... That's a bloody impressive trick there, Mopsy, I will not deny. I've only got two children. I feel like, you know, they don't actually need to kind of feast on the corpse of a fox. I feel like everything's fine if they actually just survive on turnips and carrots and whatever the berries are. I think we're all right raising these children vegan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, guys, the guys, the music! Guys, the music! The music! Oh, no! No, guys! No! No! Superman von Humperdinck! That was unfair! There was literally no grass to hide in! Oh no! Mops- No, Mopsy, get in cover! Get in cover, Mopsy! Mopsy, hurry! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, Mopsy! It's only me and you! You're all that's left! Oh, God damn it! I thought we were in the end game and I could bloody relax! Okay, we're not done yet, apparently. Right, zoom right out here. What's gonna be the best way to cross this area? Ooh, this area is gonna be tricky to cross. There's, yeah, very wide open areas on it. Right, go, go, go. This is probably enough space for us to get over here. Come on, come on, Mops. I think Mops is actually getting bigger. I do genuinely think possibly the Badger is getting bigger as you go along, which is kind of cool. Right, I think we've got, yeah, that totally knows where I am, but that's fine. Wait for you to loop round. And as soon as you go, oh, oh, this isn't good. Right, okay, in that case, if you're going to loop in that angle, I'm not going in that direction. I'm going over to here. Come on, Mopsy. You're nearly a full-grown badger at this point. Maybe it's a function of how much food I've been feeding her. I don't know. Now, if we just get over there, I feel like that's actually a pretty safe spot to be in. Right, so. Swings around that way. So, quite far. Ooh, that's quite a narrow. Quite a narrow path. Okay, no, no. This is good. 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 Come on, Mopsy. Come on. We can make it, girl. We're fine. Straight on to the next. This is possibly a little bit ambitious, but I think we should be able to make it over to here. Yep, that's fine. All right, we can take this. We can handle this bloody bird. I don't know where the bloody hell we're going, to be honest. Possibly that spot over there. I don't know. I'm just going to keep kind of going from patch to patch and all. We're kind of running out of patches to hide in because that's not a hiding patch up ahead. 
think we're safe. All right, good. Make a run for it. Make a run for it. We're going over there, I think. Oh, oh dear. Oh, there's still a bird and there's literally no cover. Guys, guys. Oh no, no, this isn't fair. You can't do this to me. I didn't know this was the end of the world. Oh no, oh wait, no. Maybe it's it's coming for me. I don't think it's coming for Mopsy. I think it's coming for me. Oh no. Oh, I can't, I can't run. And oh, Mopsy, go on without me. Mopsy, just run. Just run, I'm fine. Just, 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 just let, let go. Be on your own, Mopsy, run. Oh. Oh, Mopsy's upset. And oh, oh. I've been carried off. I don't know if that's how the game has to end. But I've managed to get, yeah, Mopsy. Come on, don't worry about me. Let's instead focus on Mopsy. The one survivor. Arguably 20% children surviving is not great. Yeah, I feel like that's probably how the game does end. That you yourself get killed and carried off. It's obviously my useless children don't do anything to defend me or anything like that. But Mopsy, I think, has made it. I'd like to think you can do better than that. Hopefully it's more than one child that does survive. Like, definitely one of them just died from my own incompetence. But I got too close to the water and they got swept away. So I know you can do better than one. I'm not sure if you get all five children to survive. It could potentially be a bit of a challenge. But there we are. It's spring. Mopsy just needs to go and find a nice man badger. Produce a whole bunch of badgerlings of her own. And the horrible grim cycle can continue. Oh, there's a bit after the credits, and oh, okay, I feel better now. I may be dead, but I've... Oh, no, I'm feeding the next generation of eagles. Next generation of eagles is just going to do nothing but eat the next generation of badgers. That's not a good thing at all. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Shelter, a game about being a terrible, terrible badger mother, but I'm sure you could be a better badger mother than I was. Link in the description below, and as this is a fairly linear game, I'd say, there's also a sequel, which as I understand is basically the same thing, but a bit refined and a little bit different, so I'll put a link to Shelter 2 down there as well. In case you're interested in this sort of thing, but feel like you've seen most of this now, Shelter 2 might be for you as well, so yes... That was lovely and charming and also kind of sad in many, many ways. I feel slightly sad now. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. But I suppose that's probably what the game was supposed to be trying to get at. So, yeah, I like that. It's just a little experiment. Just a small game that decides to do one thing and does it quite well. What more can you ask for from a little game like this? So that's Shelter, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe we'll go back and have a little look see at Shelter 2 or something like it at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true dead. This has been the really rather sweet little experiment of Shelter. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oi! You bastard that was mostly still fine. <laughs> Stolen the bridge! All we need to do is create a counterweight over here. This is like bridge ballast. Come on! C uh oh. No. Wait. That's un. That's fine. That creaking's supposed to happen.